We just uh, need to get in here. Is this, I mean, the doors are locked. How come the doors are locked? Don't record me, please. Allied Universal this isn't the first go around we've had with these guys. Oh, wow. They are totally unprofessional. Oh, so you guys came to start trouble. No, we can't. If you have so much of a problem with me, hey. why are you still here talking to me? Greetings, Blackheart Knight here. Today we follow Denver Metro audits around as he sticks a camera in everybody's face just to get clicks and views on his pitiful little YouTube channel. Hey guys, Denver Metro Audits. We're here today at the Commerce City Government Building. Came here to check it out. minutes later. Oh, look, there's already... What are y'all doing? Hi. Hello. Hi. We just uh, need to get in here. Is this, I mean, the doors are locked. How come the doors are locked? Don't record me, please. Don't record you? No. Okay. Well, I mean, you work for the public, right? Didn't you hear her? She said no, she doesn't want to be recorded. If this were in Florida, which is a two-party state, then you would need both parties to consent before uh, recording. According to Statute 934.03, it is a crime in the state of Florida to record anybody without their consent. In fact, whenever I was in residency at FSU a few years ago, for a social research course... I had to get the written consent of every party I had to interview for my research project to make sure that it was legally sound. No, I don't. You don't work for the public? No. You're not paid with tax dollars? No. <laughs> really? You Why really are you guys here? That? How can we help we're you? We're here. We just we need to get in we need to get inside. We don't have to tell you the reason we're here. Do you have an appointment? We need to go inside, ma'am. Do you have an appointment? I don't need to answer that from you, ma'am. Okay, well, you can't come in. Have okay. a good day. You can't. This is a government have a building, good day. This is a government hey, building. don't do that. You can't don't prevent do us that. from coming in here. It's open Actually, to the public. Actually, I can. You have to have an appointment. Move your foot, please. It's a public building, right? It's a public building, Move your foot, please. You better get someone else, supervisor, or something else. Yeah, we're going to do that, please. Move your foot, please. What are you going to do? Are you serious right yeah, now? Yeah, I'm serious right now. You're preventing people from coming in, telling us that we because can't record you. Because you have to have an appointment. You can't just come in. Okay, well, let me just... There are rules to businesses. Why can't, what's the problem? Why do you have to have an appointment to come into the government building? Well, I don't know, Frauditor. Maybe it's like the Department of Children Families, which have important cases that are going on at the very moment. Or how about like the Pentagon, which has important government secrets about our tactical arrangements throughout the world. Do you think they'd actually let you in there because it's a government building? Because that's the rules. That's how it it's goes. It's a rules? It's not a law, though. Is that a rule or a law? Listen, honey. Can you please move your feet? No. Please move your foot. No, I need to come in this building. This is my building. <laughs> you serious? Yeah, let me see the deed. Let me see if your name is on it. The owners of the building told this me This is your in. building? Yeah, it's my building. Oh, how's that? And the other owners of this building uh, told me to come in here and do the uh, do a story on this building, so that's what we're here to do. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's actually pretty ironic, not ironic, but it's it's uh, kind of shameful that you actually believe you're not paid with tax dollars. Is that true? Are we doing an interview? Oh, well, I mean, you said that you're not paid with tax dollars, but you know that's not true, right? Okay. Okay. Well, why did you say it then? I say what I want. I I'm grown. I say what I want too. Yeah. Look at the unprofessionalism from Allied Security. Allied Universal this isn't the first go around we've had with these guys. Oh, wow. Shouldn't it start to ring into your tiny little brain that if you're having problems with this particular security company or any other security company all the time, that you may be the problem? 
Yeah, you guys are need to do better. You guys you know, are totally unprofessional. Oh, so you guys came to start trouble. Better watch out. She's on to you. She knows why you're there now. Oh, we can't That's be what peaceful. you did. No, like, really? Is this there. peaceful? Well, because you're not like Because you're giving us attitude. You're giving us that. No, you had the attitude of, I'm going to go looking for trouble, and I found trouble. But you better be, be careful, because one day you might find some trouble that you might not be able to handle. Well, because you're not respecting the rules of the building. You have to have an appointment. That's just how they have it set up. No. If, so so you, if we didn't have you guys camera, came you to come create in, right? issues. No, we came is in. what you did. That's that's what you're doing. No. Right? So we need to get into the Because you're being so you confrontational you with you your camera and all of that. Man. So that's we wanted you guys to come in and to start trouble. Record. We're not trying to start trouble. Mm. You're the one that's creating trouble, man. Okay. Oh, look, we so, got a cam back over here. Hey, man, um, that's public record. CRS 18-8-114, abuse of public records. If you delete that picture on your phone, that's a misdemeanor crime. So we will be doing a FOIA request on that, okay? So don't delete that or that'll be uh, a crime. Okay. Oh, this is not a, uh, I'm not recording anything. I'm just You're calling. taking pictures of us, ma'am. No, and I can show you right now. I'm not touching, I'm not doing anything. I didn't take any pictures of you right now. Okay. So, don't say something Okay, so how come that? we're not being allowed to let it inside this government building? My job is just to direct people, but since I don't know where to direct, We don't need direction, ma'am. We're, like okay. she said, we're adults. Thank you. Yeah, go she ahead. said we can come in. Jeez. There you go. Do your job better next time, lady. Ridiculous. Automatically, we're trying to start stuff because we have cameras in here. Two very boring minutes later. Yeah, I had to cut out a lot of his creative content because he was just walking around talking to people about getting that woman fired. Here's a creative solution to your problem, Frauditor. Instead of walking around asking about how to get her fired, why don't you uh, call the actual security company up themselves and discuss the issue with them? If you even had half a brain cell rolling around up there, you should, that's the first thing you should have done was contact the security company itself instead of talking to the government employees who didn't know anything about the security company. Hey there. Hey. Hello there. Would you like to give us your name? Lisa. Thanks, Lisa. So, um, is there anything you would like to say to us before? I mean, you heard us talking over there, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, I would like to not uh, file a complaint, but. File a complaint about what? Uh, well, about you and your rudeness and. Oh, was trying, I to prevent, rude? trying to prevent us from coming in the building and telling us not to record you and yeah well you're supposed to have an appointment like i told you earlier well obviously we don't have to have an appointment man well clearly we just, we just talked to here. the sergeant and uh we're obviously allowed to be in here so well i was told you're supposed to, everyone is supposed to have an appointment so i have a job to do too i don't know what your job is but i was doing mine Okay, well, you were you might have been told that, but you were doing your job incorrectly. Oh, really, fraud owner? How do you know this? Because job duties are really easy to look up. Here's what I found on security guard job duties. Seems like to me she was doing her job just fine. It's you who are just being in a pain in the butt, but... That's your job as a fraud owner, if you can even call being a fraud owner a job. So you have to have an appointment to, to actually get service in here, but you don't have to have a, an appointment to enter the building, ma'am. So why didn't you just come in? Because the door was locked. Oh. Okay. What is it that okay. you're waiting for? An apology? You're not getting that. <laughs> So we got uh, we got the Allied Universal phone number. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, file a complaint on you, Lisa, and you're Good gonna luck. look really. Have fun with that. See, this is how they, they treat members of the public. Look at this, guys. 
I'm a member see of the, the public, the too. What are you you're, talking you're about? You're in your official capacity, ma'am. Okay. You're here to serve the public. Mm, okay. okay. You're not just a citizen on the streets. You're paid with tax dollars, ma'am, which you actually denied in the citizen, beginning. I'm a citizen, just like you. Yeah, you're a citizen, of course. But you're also paid with tax dollars to serve the public. What and this is how you treat with? members of the public. It's unacceptable. I have rules to follow. Normally, yeah. people with jobs have rules to follow. Yeah. That's right, Flaudener. She's gainfully employed. Now, what job skills do you have that can ensure that you're gainfully employed other than harassing workers like her? Are, are, is your, um, the rules to follow, does that include being rude and condescending? Oh, so your job entails being confrontational and trying to create problems. Watch, when you see the video, man, and then turn around. When you see the video, you'll rude. see that I wasn't confrontational. You initiated the confrontation. Well, that's one skill he does possess, gaslighting. I'm sure his mama must be proud of him. Oh, did I? Yeah. Um, CS get confrontational with him? Good yes. editing. I see mean, how, whatever. See, do see what how, you see do. how cordial we were with the officer and the lady at the okay, window. Okay, so why are you still right? here? If you have so much of a problem with me, hey. why are you still here talking to me? Well, we're just, we actually, I actually came over here to give you an opportunity to make yourself look good, but you're actually going backwards. You're making yourself look I even worse. I don't care what you do, sweetheart. You can go file your complaints, do what you have to do. If that's what makes you feel good throughout your day, that's what helps you get through your day. Gotta love this woman. She's not buying his BS, not one little bit. This is what we like to call do pride it. and ego, guys. Is it? Yeah, it's on top of the rock of Gibraltar right here. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, have a good day. Five hours later. Six hours later. All right, guys. So there you can see this isn't the first uh, incident I've had with Allied Universal. Um, they're poorly trained. They don't understand the First Amendment. They're rude. The last guy that we talked to was totally power tripping. Um, your job is to observe and report. That's it, ma'am. It's not to prevent people from coming in the building, block them from coming in. So learn your job, okay? It's to observe and report. That's it. Get a job, okay? I have a job. No, okay. Yeah. Six hours later. A frauditor. Didn't anybody ever tell you that it's creepy to stare at people for hours on end? So she just keeps digging herself deeper. More and more rude comments. You could just be quiet and we'd eventually You leave, could but... just go and have, enjoy your day and go find something to do. I mean, why are you harassing me? I'm not harassing you. You are, though. Well, as soon as you stop talking to me, we're going to leave. Okay. But we're going to leave when we're ready to leave. Not okay. when you tell us to. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. After another five or ten minutes of him staring at her and getting no response out of her, he decides to leave. What a creepy SOB he is. Given the circumstances, I would have to rate her performance in this frauded as an A-plus, considering that she didn't take any of his BS and she saw right through him. But until next time, I'll see you on the next video. And don't forget to rate, comment, share, and subscribe. And have a good night, good day, or whatever. I'll see you then.